Recently, I sent an email on permission, on giving ourselves permission to my email newsletter. By the way, you should subscribe. There is a link. And I got some really incredible reactions. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video and talk about the same concepts. The ideas that I have are a mix of something that's coming from these two gentlemen. So the first gentleman to the left is Joseph Campbell, expert mythologist and author of The Hero's Journey. And the gentleman to the right is a famous marketer and best-selling author, Seth Godin. Now, The Hero's Journey, you can see it very superficially. You can see it in The Lion King or The Matrix, or you can really go in depth. And there is a concept in The Hero's Journey that is the atonement with the father. And it's the atonement with an authority figure. And it's something that happens in a lot of traditional stories, in a lot of myths, and it happens in a lot of movies. And maybe the movies help us grasp this concept in the best possible way. Now, if you think of a famous father-son scene in a movie, obviously Star Wars come, comes to mind, where there is this dark side of the force and the, the bright side needs to fight with, with the dark side and the hero needs to accept that the origins that are coming from are not the purest and the cleanest in terms of, of energy. And another, another example maybe could be maybe a bit, a bit more tongue in cheek. That is Marty McFly that meets the, his own father in Back to the Future and has to make this relationship right before the relationship even begins. The idea of the atonement, and it doesn't need to be with a father, it can be with a mother, it can be with any authority figure in our lives. But the idea of this is to stop giving power over our emotions to the people in front of us. It's a passage for the heroine or, or the hero in the journey of self-development to say, I have authority, I have the power, but the power doesn't exist in a vacuum. You take it from somebody and you, you assign it to, to yourself. And so my invitation for you is to be your own authority figure in this situation and really give yourself permission, give yourself power. Now, there's a second concept that I want to talk to you about, and that is from, from Seth Godin. Now, Seth Godin wrote this post in March 2013. It's been in my head since then. And what the post says is you have permission, that's the title. Just saying you have permission to create, to speak up and stand up. You have permission to be generous, to fail and to be vulnerable. You have permission to own your words, to matter and help. No need to wait. Now, Seth Godin has thought about permission a lot, has wrote an entire book on permission marketing, where the premise is we get interrupted all the time without permission and actually good marketing should ask first for our permission and then deliver, deliver a message. And so we should give ourselves permission in the same way that brands should ask permission to us. It's probably our inner voice that is holding us back. It's probably an internal monologue that says, you're not good enough, you're not ready, you need to polish, you need a better video, you need a better microphone, you're not ready to shoot a video, you're not ready to be out in the world. And in fact, you are. And so my invitation is to believe in your message, find your voice and ask for our support because we are here, we, your community, your peers, your colleagues, we are here to empower you. And so I hope that with this idea of asking permission to an authority figure and finding that authority figure inside yourself and this invitation from, from one of the best marketers in the world to, to speak up, to stand up, you really got something today. And this video was sponsored. Yeah, it was actually sponsored by me. And if you want to have more of this kind of advice, I always update a free training and you can find it in the link below this video. And in this training, you will learn how to communicate like a leader or even better, talk like a boss. Thank you so much for watching.